This video is uh, going to teach you how to build a bee escape. Bee escapes are used to uh, help bees exit uh, honey supers during the harvesting season. Uh, I decided to build mine out of scrap lumber. I had built some supers out of 1x12 and had this uh, four and a half inch stock left over. It could be built out of almost anything uh, because I had my uh, finger joint jig uh, already set up on the saw, I decided to just build finger joint boxes. Uh, below us here is one. You can see that uh, it's got the finger joints uh, in the corner. It has a plywood um, um, in the middle with a one and a half inch hole cut in it. And then on the back side, uh, and so this would be installed with the supers on top going this way, or it would be installed in this direction if there were supers uh, below here. Uh, the bees are escaping upward through the hole into this area, out these escapes, uh, and then uh, they tend to cluster over the hole but can't find the escapes to get back in. So, what I took, I took. Uh, my finger joint jig and cut uh, three quarter inch finger joints and then one inch down from the top I cut a slot three eighths of an inch deep for uh, the plywood and then uh, this would uh, go together like so and then a piece of plywood is going to fit in here this happens to be a little uh, scrap piece and it's a little uh, wobbly but uh, there you have the the box itself with the with the uh, one inch on this side, uh, which would have the hole drilled in it, and then the the uh, triangular piece that we'll see in a minute would be put here. So here's a here's how it looks after it's uh, put together, and I've drilled the the uh, one inch hole. I used a simple jig to mark the center of the where I wanted the hole. This is a piece of plywood and I've cut a notch here that is in the then this fits, fits in here and I can just uh, um, th this I can just mark a notch here uh, where this notch is to get the center and then uh, drill the hole. So this uh, shows the uh, triangle for the B escape. Um, my table saw couldn't cut a 60 degree angle to make the escapes out the uh, end, uh, sort of, sorry, maybe out right at the point. And so these 30 degree angle uh, cuts uh, allowed for the same sort of escape slots. Uh, here's the bore or the piece it's a half an inch thick and then has a 30 degree angle on both ends this one happens to be 11 inches long um, and then that's a 3 8 inch uh, gap here this shows the marks I've made on the 8 mesh these are isosceles triangles 11 inches on a side it's roughly uh, 10 inches of screen. So here's the uh, completed isosceles triangle, oh, it's sort of hard to see, a screen out of 8 mesh. So I'm just going to, going to staple it on to the, the escape find a way that I like how it fits. Maybe about like that.
And there you have it, a completed bee escape. This is Jim Hensel in Portland, Oregon. I hope you enjoyed it.